Hello, welcome to Stereo Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use rigid body calculation of Maya to create a catapult animation. Now, I have already made a model of a very simple looking catapult with four, you know, uh, wheels and all. And this is my uh, the main catapult, which is gonna throw or fire the objects or the debris uh, as an as an which will be as an weapon or the ammo so uh, for creating there is uh, the rigid body calculation we need to know that there are two kind of rigid body are there one is the active rigid body which is going to be you know effect directly by the different fields or the environmental reactions and there's another one which is a passive rigid body which is not directly been you know uh, use or maybe uh, act directly or actively take part on those uh, actions so first of all before applying any kind of rigid body or the passive rigid body we need to first animate those uh, objects which I really want to be you know in our control like this the firing weapon so what I'll do is I'll just animate this one it's like press s and then you know, let's say around 25 frames just moving it giving it a bit of anticipation and then whoop so it will gonna fire that object within five frames so it will be something like this it will have to make an uh, to you know gather the kinetic energy and then it will gonna throw the entire object towards the enemy or whatever so this is the kind of an animation that I'm looking for. Now, if we put an object, like I'll just take a sphere and just put over here. Now, if I play this, generally Maya doesn't understand that that is a rigid body, so we need to hit is not gonna happen because I haven't applied the rigid body calculation to the object so that is the reason it's not calculating it penetrating the entire thing so to make it happen I have to select this this particular object as a passive rigid body which means which is gonna collide with the active rigid body itself like click on the passive rigid body and also select the object with the main object and just make sure by pressing forward it's not penetrating with any other object fine also from the top view fantastic so select the object and go to the active rigid body and hit select the create active rigid body so now the sphere is going to be the active rigid body and this object is going to be uh, the passive rigid body so now I have I have to use uh, uh, you know a, a field because if I play this uh, right now what is gonna happen is the rigid body is going to be affected the active rigid body is going to be affected but you can see it's go on and on because it is taking the force from this uh, from this catapult and it's moving towards an infinity this is not going to be get down so that thing is not required so I need to get that uh, object down so it's going way to towards the infinity so what I will do is I'll select that object and apply a field a gravity so it will gonna come back down so apply the gravity it's already been applied to that object how we can check you can select the object and go to the relationship editor under the window and dynamic relationship you can see that P sphere 1 and gravity field 1 has been connected. So now what we're going to do is if you hit playback, you can see it's going down. So ultimately, my object has been affected by the gravitational force and it will going to uh, play a, a realistic looking like a debris which is going to throw from a catapult. So this is a very simple one, uh, simple example of how to use the 
a rigid body calculation like active rigid body and passive rigid body so hope you enjoy that and thank you very much please like our facebook page and also subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much